everyone, today I've got the Boy Next Door movie review. Jennifer Lopez is having some trouble with a crush of hers, um, and things might just get ugly, especially since he lives right next door to her. So as far as the story goes, uh, this is a movie where uh, I always used to criticize Jennifer Lopez for being a total MILF in this movie uh, because she was just looking sexy as ever and she was uh, trying to get rid of this one boy who she never has met until he's all like putting on the charms and he's getting really sweet and she's trying not to get too comfortable with him uh, because she's already in a sticky situation being an ex-wife and uh, it just gets pretty intense and you really don't know uh, where the story is going however there are some parts that seem very predictable and I know that ever since I saw the trailer I was kind of looking forward to seeing this movie in the first place. Uh, it looked really intense and it just looked like one of those typical movies where uh, you know something's going to happen even after they do some of the dirty deeds uh, in this movie and you've got Jennifer Lopez who just, you know, she looks hot, she's got a kid and she's trying to be a good mother. Uh, she's trying to sort of reconcile with her ex-husband and uh, you don't know if things will even happen on that front but it all basically boils down to her relationship with uh, her next door neighbor's nephew I guess and he's just like this really hot guy Ryan Gusman I think that's how you say his name uh, he's just like you know being just really nice he's trying to help out but then he sort of hits on her after she kind of sees him with a six pack and a nice tight butt oh my god i cannot believe i just said that he just you know gets really obsessed from there and he gets really really obsessed uh, to the point where she almost should just file for a restraining order or something. I mean, she's a teacher, she's got her own students to look after, and then all of a sudden he comes into the class, hey, uh, I'm your new student, what's up? And uh, she's like, hell no. But then even uh, just that fact alone drives him over the edge, and Jennifer Lopez is not happy about it. She goes to her friend, played by Kristen Chenoweth, and she's like the annoying friend, but hey, she doesn't really have a big role in this movie, so I didn't really care for her that much uh, because it was all about Jennifer Lopez uh, trying to get with the younger guy, uh, but really it's the other way around, and uh, you don't want it to really say, oh, it reflects kind of on her real life now, uh, but it's not going to happen. Seriously, don't make it happen. You know, there were some things that I did like about this movie. Uh, and uh, I was really shocked to say because a lot of the stuff that happened in the trailers really spoiled um, the things that were happening in the movie and it really took me out of it. But I did like what was going on. I mean, uh, you didn't know uh, how far this guy was willing to go to get... Uh, the affections on with Jennifer Lopez. You didn't know if she was going to call the cops on his ass because he was getting way too frisky and he was just getting really uptight and uh, just really wanted to like punch him in the face before he does anything drastic. That is just like something that uh, I was not expecting to see, but it kind of was because it almost seemed like one of those thriller type movies and uh, I didn't want it to end up being like some crazy horror story uh, where, you know, this guy uh, takes revenge because he's not getting it up uh, with the right lady. I'm just saying uh, it could happen. Uh, so there were some things I did not like about this movie, and I'm not really surprised by that. Uh, it just, you know, it went by so fast. A lot of things, like, were happening and uh like the threats were happening uh they were just getting way too intense but um i just did not 
really like the direction it was going. I was just hoping that he could just like take a hike and leave and then she could just go on with her life and not have to deal with her bratty son and maybe even get back with her ex-husband. I mean, that didn't even happen. He seemed like a pretty decent guy and they didn't really explore that. Um, and it just sort of like all happened so fast and it was uh, kind of ridiculous. But I still think I enjoyed the movie uh, even though there were some things that I did not like about it, and, uh, I just felt like it was just an okay movie. Uh, I probably would see it again, though, because, uh, I did like how it was getting all hot and steamy, but, uh, I just don't think it was with the right kind of people, I'm just saying. Uh, it was just a little weird to me, uh, because it was just like a ripoff of Girl Next Door. So, I'm not even going to go into that. Uh, but would I recommend checking out seeing this movie? Yes, I would. Uh, if you do like just a generic thriller, go ahead and see this. Otherwise, just skip it all together. Uh, so, I would give this three hearts on the heart rate scale. So, let me know in the comments what you guys think of The Boy Next Door. And uh, what did you think of Jennifer Lopez getting her milf on? Uh, and as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got my movie reviews, movie updates, come back every Fritchell Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.